heard a lot more from Ange Postacoglu there once he'd had a chance to, to reflect and maybe consider what he wanted to say publicly. And as it was, it was, it was pretty strong. Yeah, it was. I've been. It's not been easy listening to the, obviously what's been going on and, and people questioning. You know, Spurs maybe winning this game um, when they had Champions League. If they had won today and then and they, and they win on on, on Sunday, there's a, there was a chance of Champions League football at this club. But but people were more interested in in just stopping Arsenal winning the title, and that mentality. And I, and I 100% agree with him. And that's what he's alluding to. But that's a culture that's been created for a, a long while at this club. I was here. It was. It wasn't never. A, I didn't ever feel it was a winning mentality, or even try. You can't always win, but sometimes you, you can make sure you try. You know, two years ago, I remember being up there in that box, Kelly, when Arsenal um, they lost here to Tottenham. Tottenham beat them. They bullied them that night. And if you would have said to me in that two years after Arsenal would be contending to win the title, I'd have been. Well, I can't quite see that. But what Arsenal have done as a club, they really back the manager. They've brought in players that are ready to win titles. Not maybe going to be make the team a bit better, win titles. What do we need? We need Declan Rice. Let's bring him in. Let's make that difference. They tried to buy Mudrick for 100 million, whatever it was. No, they didn't get him. They ended up getting Trossard. But challenging to win, to get players, to take this that club to the next level. And that's the mentality of Arsenal that Tottenham haven't got. They've got the most beautiful, you know, the, 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 the stadium is incredible. But the team has to match that. We lost Harry Kane at the start of the year. You should have said to Harry Kane that we want to keep you. We want to make sure that you're here instead of maybe letting him go or make sure you bring someone in that is the ready-made replacement. I, I've always felt it. It's just not quite... The, and it comes from the, from the top here. And I, I've, I have to be careful because I've often said about Manchester United and you know, people, when people talk about the Glazers and the difference in, and it comes from them. But they've always backed the team with the players. They've always... Whatever happens, whether they've got it right or wrong, they've spent hundreds and hundreds of millions, billions of pounds on the players. Whereas here, I just don't ever think that's been the case to improve the team. So you just think it's run as a business is what you're saying? Absolutely run as a business. And I think the, pla I think the fans deserve better not, than that. I mean, being... Financially responsible is how, and, and you know, the the board and the, the owners aren't here to represent themselves. So they they would argue that running a club in a financially responsible way is is not a bad thing. We've seen clubs yeah. suffer because they they've Arsenal been run do badly. That as well. Arsenal do that. So I, I'm just not saying, just think it's you know, it's not a case of you know, having to go. It's just the fact. If, if you're happy with that and you can see the manager's not, that's where you're going to be. If you want to run it as a business, you have to accept that. And uh, and the Spurs fans have to accept that. But I think they deserve better. Do they? have a, a manager with a winning mentality did we see that in his time at, at Celtic did we see that in his, his time at previous clubs 100% I, I think he has got a winning mentality he, he said there in his interview the last 48 hours so how I read that is obviously he's had a conversation with, with someone and he's probably discussing the future what players can they get in in the summer how can I take this team forward because let's not forget it's his first season he's done very well for his first season but how can you kick on and he's just he, that's a massive statement for a manager there it's a massive state you know because if you look at the game today Man City was expected to win but you, you can see he's hurt he wants more he wants more players he wants to be able to change it so they can change the game but at the moment he's just not getting it you know what it, it for when I look at that before the game we had the conversation with the manager and he was confused it was like them felt like what are you why do we believe that you know not winning today and having Arsenal win the league like what what is that and I think he's probably coming from a place of like this isn't my football culture this isn't how, how I see things I want to win every single game I think he had the belief in his team I think the players did but I think the mentality can it creep in you know from the outside into the camp sometimes it can you know and I think for a manager like him, you can see he's, he's literally hurt mm. by, you know, I don't know whether it's the circumstances or the result for sure, but it seems as if there is something else added to just the result to me.